Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of League Lectures. Today, we're going to go over all the games that we have in store for the NFL on Sunday. Normally, I post this Sunday morning, so it's a few hours before the games. But I've got a busy weekend coming up this weekend, so I'm just going to record a video today, post it today, and I'll give people a few days to see it. Maybe we'll get more attention. Maybe it does well. If it does well, maybe I'll start doing my Sunday predictions on Friday. We'll see how it goes. But So we'll just hop right into it. First off, we have the Jags versus the Bengals. Bengals are not good. We all know that. Jaguars, they just traded, traded Jalen Ramsey, which they haven't been playing with him these last few games anyway. But I still think they'll be good enough. Their offense is clicking. Um... Bengals defense isn't good, so Gardner Minshew, he'll have himself a good game, and the Jags will win. We have the Bills versus the Dolphins. We know what the Dolphins are doing. They're tanking for Tua. They're not going to try to win games. Bills win. I don't know what else to say here. Colts versus Texans. It's going to be a really good game, a divisional matchup between the AFC South rivals. Um, both teams coming off a win against the Chiefs. Um... I think both of these teams are really feeling themselves right now. They have a lot of confidence to them. But it's in Indianapolis right now. And with that said, I'm going to give it to the Colts. I don't think... I don't want this to sound like I'm doubting the Texans, because I'm not. This is only because it's in Indianapolis. Um, Jacoby's a fine quarterback. T.Y. Hilton always seems to light us up one way or another. If it was in Houston, Houston gets the win. It's in Indianapolis, so Colts will get the win. It's not a who's a better team. It's home field advantage purely in my eyes. Then we have the Titans versus the Chargers. Last week, Marcus Mariota was benched for Ryan Tannehill. Like I predicted would happen. I know I didn't have my YouTube up and running when I made some predictions for the whole season, but one of my predictions was Mariota will lose his job. And by the next season, Tannehill will be on the roster, and Mariota will not. So, we might be going towards that, but who knows. So, this will be Ryan Tannehill's first start for the Titans. Um, they're going against the injury-riddled Chargers. They they just lost to Denver. They lost to... I don't... Who did they just lose to? Um, I don't remember who they just lost to, but the Chargers are just struggling right now. Um... I think there's too many injuries for them to overcome at the moment, so I'm going to say Titans and Tannehill get their first victory as with a new quarterback under center. We have the Packers versus the Raiders, which it's sounding like Devontae Adams is going to be out for another game. This would be three in a row, I believe. Um, Raiders have been playing better than I've given them credit for, but with that said, I'm still going to give it to the Packers. I think... The defense is still solid enough. The offense can still work at times. But you never know. The Packers were probably losing against the Lions the other day if it wasn't for the refs. And I, I hate doing that. I hate saying the refs made a team win or lose. But if you watch that game, you know what happened. You know the Lions should have won that game. But I do think the Lions are better than the Raiders. But, you know what, I've been wrong about the Raiders many times this season already, so who knows, they might destroy the Packers. But right now, I'm saying Packers win. Seahawks versus Ravens. The Seahawks just struggled against the Cleveland Browns. As to why they struggled, I don't know. But they just barely got a victory from there. And now, they've got... The Ravens are up and down. They can look really good, but at the same time, they can look really bad. I'm going to say the Seahawks do win it. Russell Wilson is the MVP up as to this moment in the season. Um, I think we're going to have a really close game between Lamar Jackson and Russell Wilson. But at the end, Russell Wilson will pull it off like he always seems to do. Rams versus Falcons. The Rams just had a terrible game against the 49ers. Um... Maybe the 49ers are legit. Maybe I doubt them too much. But who knows. Todd Gurley should be back this week. And the Falcons defense 
cannot stop anybody. I don't care how bad your offense is. If you're going against the Falcons defense, that's one of those defenses that you automatically have the advantage. So I'm saying Rams win. Cardinals versus Giants. I think this will be... When you look at the two team names, you know how their season's going, and it doesn't sound that interesting. But it's two mediocre to bad teams, and those can sometimes actually be pretty entertaining games, just because it's two defenses that aren't the best, so the offenses can have good games. But I do believe the Giants are still injured. I don't know if Ingram's expected to play yet. I haven't checked that. I don't know anything about Sterling Shepard. Saquon Barkley is expected to play. Who knows? I think he's coming back way too early. Um, hopefully he doesn't injure himself. I just don't think they're 100% yet. So I'm going to say the Cardinals win. Then we have Lions versus the Vikings. I think the Lions are going to be super mad and determined to beat the Vikings after what happened versus Green Bay. They got screwed out of a win. They got screwed out of being first in their division. They're going to be mad. I think they take it to Minnesota. And I think they have a fairly big margin of victory. Then we have the 49ers versus the Redskins. Um, I was on the Redskins bandwagon when the season started. Obviously, that's not going anywhere. And I've been a doubter in San Francisco. But they're winning. And the Redskins aren't a good team. And whether I believe in the 49ers or not, they are definitely better than the Redskins. So I'm taking the 49ers. Saints versus Bears. Uh, Bridgewater still still playing. I think this is, will probably be his first or second. Sorry, I misspoke. This will either be his last or second to last start, I believe. Drew Brees, Drew, bleh, Drew Brees is expected back soon, so his time's probably coming to an end. Um, I just don't think the Bears are all of that. I think they're okay. The Saints have shown they don't need Drew Brees at this exact moment in time. Now, of course, when the season goes on, and if for some reason Drew Brees still isn't playing, that will hurt them more. But early in the season, Teddy Bridgewater's fine, so Saints will beat the Bears. Um, then for Sunday Night Football, we have the Eagles versus the Cowboys. I believe it's in Dallas. Let me check that. I... Either I don't know. It won't pull up. But whether it's in Dallas or whether it's in Philadelphia, my opinion doesn't change. Um, I'm going to say the Eagles win. As to why, I can't really give you a full explanation. If you look at stats and everything, it should show that the Cowboys will win this game. They have the better defense. Um, I guess the offense is clicking a little bit more. But they are dealing with injuries, as are the Eagles. But I don't know. I'm having a tough time believing in the Cowboys. They've lost to two good teams, the only good two teams they faced, and they just lost to the Jets. So I have no clue what the Cowboys are. But at the same time, the Eagles just got lit up by Kirk Cousins. Um, so who knows? I, I don't know what either of these teams are. But... I'm just going to go Eagles. I don't know. I have a gut feeling telling me the Eagles will win. Probably a close game within a touchdown or so. Um, yeah, again, I not a whole lot to say for that. Neither of these teams has a set identity. Both teams need to get past some injuries. But I think the Eagles have a better chance against better teams, which means I just think they'll beat the Cowboys. I don't know. But... That's really it. Um, again, normally I post a Sunday. I'm going to post it today just because I'm busy this weekend. So I don't want to worry about bringing my laptop to where I'm going. But yeah, if you like what you heard, like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video. Help me grow this channel. See how far we can take it. If this video does good, better than my normal Sunday videos, maybe I start doing my predictions on Friday more often so more people can see them and respond and react, etc. But that's it for right now, and I'll see y'all next time.